Higher ed actually faces a lot of challenges that we see. One is volume. I think security has to happen at a pace in a university much higher than what we see in a corporation. Every quarter, you might have 10,000 uh, joiners, uh, which would be students joining your uh, fac your uh, campus uh, or, or 10,000 students leaving your campus. So how do you manage that volume and finding uh, systems and solutions that provide security uh, can be done, but the ones that do it uh, at scale and automated uh, fashion is very important. So tying your security needs around strong identity, uh, the ability to you know foster identities over time, years, decades even, uh, as students leave uh, or graduate from your university and become alumni, uh, you stay in touch. You continue to provide them with email access. Uh, you continue to provide them access to systems and services. And what you don't want to do is have that access be uh, compromised uh, by, uh, you know, bad actors or uh, people who are trying to take advantage of um, incomplete, um, unscalable processes that leave things behind uh, that you uh, are constantly trying to clean up, but uh, you can't do it without some form of strong uh, identity strategy uh, that allows you to onboard those people and kind of provide the services and capabilities they need uh, at the scale you need. You know, if I kind of summarize the things I see are challenging uh, our customers in the higher ed space, it's really volume. How do I keep up with this volume? If I have manual processes, it gets really painful. Uh, mistakes get made, things get left behind. So I need a lot of automation. Uh, I need a cohesive, you know, identity project that allows me to even progressively profile identities, right? I have, you know, early students coming into the university, um, uh, their high school, maybe they're doing a fast start program. Uh, I want to capture those people and start to kind of, you know, get them to come uh, and uh, obviously join uh, our university as a student. Uh, and then throughout their life cycle, uh, you know, as an undergrad, as a graduate student, as maybe a, a doctorate student, uh, and then an alumni, you know, I really want to kind of build this, this story and this family type atmosphere around our university that en entices people to come uh, in future generations join uh, our facility. And that's a big volume for us. So how do we manage that you know, as a university and tie identity to that? Uh, and then provide access to, you know, all the systems, the, you know, facilities uh, that they need to, you know, fulfill their, their roles as students or, you know, faculty in the same fashion. So that's, I think, really the biggest problem that they face. And it kind of gets a bit strained uh, when uh, you're the CISO or the CIO of the university and you're really trying to get everybody to, to get on board with your program. Uh, and provide them with a world-class, uh, you know, uh, delightful experience that lets, you know, identity be the new forefront of how you uh, supply services to um, uh, your students and provide a frictionless, you know, experience so people can, you know, get their packet, uh, get online, get on board, get everything they need to get started, and nobody's calling the help desk to try to figure out how to, you know, get access and get things done. So, you know, identity really, you know, for me is the new, you know, engagement uh, fulcrum for, for what people want to do uh, to, to provide a great experience.